Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Digital Black Magic channel. My name is Christoph Esch. Today I'm going to show you how to add a remote control to Windows 10 Home Edition. Windows 8 also works. Microsoft provides a remote desktop service for Windows 10 Professional and the server variants. This feature is not present on Windows 10 Home. There is an open source project which is called Virtual Network Client, short VNC. This software enables a remote control function in Windows 10 Home, but this must not be mistaken with Windows Remote Desktop because it is a special software that needs to be downloaded and installed. Without further ado, Let's get into it and I will show you how to download the software. I chose the project Tight VNC. Downloading the software is quite easy. You Google it and the first hit you get for Google will be Tight VNC download. Once on the home page, you can choose from 32 bits or 64 bit Windows versions, assuming you want to use Windows. If you are unsure, Please use, please use the 32-bit version. It doesn't do any harm. Just to verify that we have a Windows Home, you can use the DOS prompt program WinWer. To start it, just type WinWer into the search function. This will open a window that shows the version details of your Windows. In this case, we have a Windows 10 Home. And I've already put the downloaded file on the desktop to have it in reach. Unfortunately, I chose the wrong executable. I have a 32-bit version of Windows and the executable I have downloaded is 64. In this case, when trying to execute the wrong version, you will get an error message. My way of finding out if I have a Windows 32-bit is just by checking the names of the directories. Windows 64-bit has two program folders, one for 64-bit software and one for the legacy 32-bit software. On Windows 10 32-bit versions, this is obviously not the case. And as shown here, we only have one folder with programs. Okay, now running the correct executable for the system, we see the setup screen of tight VNC and of course click next. Here we apply to the license agreement which is again open software so no fees attached. In the option task I choose complete installation and then I'm prompted with additional configurations which I also keep at default values. The installation as always requires administrative privileges. Once the software is installed, you are prompted with two passwords to be set. One password is the screen unlock. So this is a password you would use to connect to the machine. Please set a strong password here. I don't because it's just a test system. The other password you can put is a password for the configuration of the VNC. I strongly recommend you put another password here and I wouldn't use the VNC on the internet just to be safe. Once setup is complete, I restart the computer to find if the auto start settings are correct now. Once the system got restarted, I logged on and checked the icon bar next to the clock and here I find the VNC icon which is sitting prominently and waiting for connections. That's great and all I want to know. So I restart the machine again. Moving over to the other system, we will have to install the VNC remote control part. It's the same executable, which I already placed onto the desktop. And here you skip through the first parts of the installation and you select custom when prompted to select the installation methods. You deselect the VNC server because we don't need it and then you continue as shown before. Once the installation is done,
you will find a tight VNC icon in your start menu. Clicking on this one, you will be prompted with a window that has remote host and an input prompt. Either you choose the IP address of the remote machine or you can put the name. I choose the IP address because the computer does not have a proper name. Once the IP address is punched in, I put the screen unlock password and click OK. Now I am sitting on the desktop or login screen in this case of the remotely managed computer. To show you that we just connected to a Windows Home, I will just run WinWR once again and now you have it. You can remote control a Windows 10 Home. I hope you liked the video. Please feel free to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Comment if you want to have any additional information and I wish you a nice day.